Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, today we are creating quick and short website presentation tutorial, like this. So let's start it. As usual, first create a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second, and it's called main comp. Now create a new solid background layer. You can choose any color which you like. Now we want to create vintage look, so create new black solid layer. Then select ellipse tool and double click to create a perfect ellipse. Then expand your mask properties and check to inverted. Decrease mask opacity around 60% and mask feather around 500 pixels. Now create another solid layer and choose any color which you like. Then select ellipse tool and create a mask like this. Open mask property, feather around 600 pixel and opacity around 70%. You can also do anything with your mask. Now we want to add some noise to our background, so create a new adjustment layer and search noise HLS effect. Change hue light and saturation 1%. Now you can see little bit noise on background, so it's look good to me. Select all layers and pre-compose them. And move all attributes into the new composition. It's called BG Comp. Now go to project window and drag dot movie footage into the timeline. Change opacity around 50%. If you think your footage is small for your timeline, select footage layer, right click, go to timeline and enable time remapping, and drag your footage, also drag the keyframe, you can find footage link in description. Now create a new composition for our website. Width around 1600 pixels, height around 2100 pixels. Change composition name website. Then drag your website footage into the timeline and resize if required. Select footage layer then hit P for position and add keyframe. Then go to around 10 second forward and move X position. Drag website composition into the timeline. Resize your comma layer and make it 3D layer. Now create new camera. I am using 35mm preset camera. Then create null layer and make it 3D layer. And parent your camera with null layer. Select null layer and hit R for rotation, rotate X or Y value like this. and add a keyframe, then select both keyframe and move them around 2 second forward. Then go to first frame and change amount 0. Select all keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now select website layer and add keyframe on position value.
then go to first frame and move your website out of the frame like this. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. And make your graph like this. Select null layer and hit U to show keyframe, and move all keyframes little forward. If you think your website animation goes fast, so you can move keyframe anytime. Perfect. Now we want to create shadow effect for our website, so duplicate for website layer. Then go to project window and also duplicate the website comp. And change website to name as shadow. Replace the shadow comp our second website comp. Then parent this shadow comp with website comp. Hit you to show keyframe and delete this keyframe. Then go to two view horizontal. And move our shadow layer a little bit far from our main website layer. Then search fill effect and apply black color. Also add a Gaussian blur. Blurriness around 200. Change opacity around 70%. Now add some text element, so create a new composition 600 by 400 pixel. And it's called text comp. Type any text as you like. Also create another text layer, I am using a random text, you can use any specific text as you like. Now animate the position of our text layer, hit P for position and go around 3 second, and add a keyframe, then go to first frame and move text position out of the frame. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. Do the same animation with our second text layer. And make your graph like this. You can also adjust the keyframes anytime. Now drag text composition into the timeline and resize if required. Also move text layer a little bit forward. Perfect, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.